Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Today we'll be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verses uh, 17. And I'll be reading from the um, uh, King James Version. Join me. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, so it's suggesting that some men are not in Christ. It says, if any man be in Christ, it means that there's a possibility of being in Christ and there are those who are not in Christ. So that uh, notion that everybody is in Christ is a fallacy. Praise God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, it's, a con it's conditional. He is a new creature. So it's only those who are in Christ that are new creatures. All things are passed away. So all those things that existed in the in the old, uh, the, anything that is called old means that there is a new. So those ones that were old have passed away. That's it. It's dead. Behold, all things are become new. All things, not some things. All things are become new. And all things are of God. And these things that is talking of are spirit things, not fleshly things. If any man be in Christ, if he was bald before he got into Christ, he remains bald after he got into Christ. That's not the part that gets new. The renewed part or the new, new part is the spirit man. The old spirit man was carnally, was, was dead. But there's, there's a, re, re, a rebirth of the new. Praise God. Behold, all things are become new. Verse 18, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Note that God hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. If you are in Christ, you are reconciled to God. And hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So our ministry is the ministry to go and tell people about reconciliation to God. Not to go and flog their heads. To wit, or to know, to wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world. Who was he reconciling? The world unto himself. Not imputing their trespasses unto them or not counting their sins. In you know, the accounting terminology that this, this is credited to them. This sin is credited to them or it's a debit in their, their their life not imputing their trespasses unto them so who did he impute it to he imputed it in, to christ and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation so that's our that's what we've been committed to to go and reconcile to the, the word of reconciliation to tell them about the reconciliation that has already taken place in christ now then we are ambassadors for Christ. So we are sent out in Christ's stead to tell them the message of Christ, which is the message of reconciliation. Hallelujah. We are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us or as though God pleaded with you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead. Be ye reconciled to God. For he, for he hath made him to be seen for us. So Christ was made sin for us. That is, it's a substitutionary work. Who knew no sin? That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So Christ was made sin for us so that we could become righteous. The righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It was substitution. He gave us his righteousness and took our sin nature. God bless you. Hallelujah.